Hey guys, doing a review, shooting test, unboxing, and chrono of a King Arms M4 here. I do want to mention first that I'm filming in higher quality on my phone, so I hope it uploads in higher quality. So I'm filming in 1080 now on my phone, but the actual upload quality, I think it was like 240 or something retarded. So hopefully it goes up to 720 or something like that, or 380. So... This is an Assault Airsoft gun. This is going to probably be a giveaway. Um, a raffle, I mean. Not really a giveaway, but a raffle. Um, it's a King Arms M4, so let's go ahead and see what comes in it. This gun is broken, so now it works. I had to bring it home and fix it. Um, open up the top. You will get a flash mag in here, and the flash mag is junk. It is absolute junk. At least in this one, it didn't feed at all. Um, so it'll come with a metal flash mag, might come with BBs, and I think it comes with an unjamming rod, um, and then it'll come with your gun, and it'll probably come with a manual too. This gun was sold for, whoops, 240 I believe, $240, that's what it says in the box, um, it's quite expensive, so is this gun worth it? Well, I opened it up. Um, I wouldn't spend $240 on a gun like this, but I'd say it's worth it. The body is beautiful on this gun. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, in fact, my favorite trademarks out of any M4 ever is the Skull Frog trademarks. And then the Punisher one over here. And that's exactly what this has. So, I wish I could drop my uh, V12 HPA engine in this body instead of the Elite Force. And have my key mod and my T1 and all that sort of stuff. But nope, I have an Elite Force body, which isn't bad, I guess. So I'm just going to start from the back and go to the front. You have an LE stock, so it's not rear-wired, so you could throw really any stock on here you want. Um, you're not limited to anything. So standard LE stock, standard pistol grip. Again, the metal body, it's a really light body, too. This is, I don't know if it's CNC'd or what, but it's a very light body um, for being metal. As you can see there. It's a Navy SEAL Team trademarks, the Skull Frog. So, really nice body. And then the Punisher stuff over there, you have a non functioning uh, forward assist, metal charging handle, bolt lock, which does not function, metal dust cover, metal back sight, the car chopped carrying handle one, uh, triangle front sight, and it actually has 556 five, NATO trademarks on the barrel. And that just completes this gun. I love that. And then your standard orange tip and standard handguard. Currently, I have a 7.4 LiPo in here. It's Dean's, so I have an adapter from Tamiya to Dean's. That's what I would use in this, a seven, nice 7.4 LiPo. Um, you could get a Tamiya 2000 from Hobby King. That would be really nice. 2000 milliamp will last you all day. Um, it has a standard metal hop-up TM style. It is metal. I had to swap the bucking because it kept clogging BBs, so I had to do that. That was the main issue with this gun, and it's got the King Arms gearbox shell, which is nice and thick. Um, it's strong. It's radius. Um, it's got a per it's got the purple accent, so the purple spring guide, purple piston, uh, purple tappet plate, and those parts are okay. Um, you know, I everything was greased really well, so I added a little bit of grease though, mainly to the o-ring on the piston the piston o-ring needed to be replaced so i replaced it entirely i didn't just stretch the current one out i replaced it entirely because it was just really thin and the compression wasn't good so we'll chrono out and see how it shoots i got a mag mid cap full of point twos not a mag mid cap it's it's a gmp not a mag brand okay currently it is over hopped now the bucking that I put in here is Sima. Hey, there's a butterfly. Let's try to hit it. Just kidding. Okay, it seems pretty consistent. I don't know what feet per second it shoots, so let's go ahead and test it. Okay, it's on point twos. Probably CQB FPS. Nope, 390. 393, 393, 
393 not even kidding you so with my compression fix it is up and down maybe three feet per second it seems and it only did that once it went to 396 once maybe twice but it was like four or five 393s um, and then just point something variants um so shoots really well as far as range max 200 um, not impressed with the barrel no, I'd say 200. Yeah, good 200. Um, this bucking is brand new too. Brought it right out of the package, Sima. So uh, it probably needs broken in. Trigger response is okay. It is a 7.4 lipo. It is fully charged, but it's only 20C. Um, let's try full auto. Yeah, 402. 402. Yeah, this is definitely an outdoor gun. Rate of fire is not the best, um, but it is a 7.4. In 11 1, you'll get probably 20, which is reasonable. So we're out of ammo. So, yeah. Uh, pretty much it if you have any questions about it go ahead and ask i assume it's an m120 that's in here it'll probably break in it is pretty much a brand new rifle it was sold and then the the customer had an issue with it and they sold airsoft refunded them so good customer service um as far as what this gun's going to be used for um i don't know it may be given away or like a raffle out the field um i might be able to sell it to a friend of mine but i don't know i don't know um i can ask the owner and see how much you know if he wants to sell it used i don't think he wants to sell used guns so it's probably just going to end up being a raffle or just uh i don't know could use it as a rental to be honest so thank you for watching guys if you have any questions ask um again recap it's about 20 rounds a second on 11 1 i did shoot it with an 11 1 earlier but um didn't want to shoot it a whole lot with an 11 1 want to keep it with the 7 4 on this gun um <clears throat> just because i don't want to you know do any damage to it because it's not mine um but i did chrono it shot 20 with an 11 to 1 that was a 20 c um and then fps about 390 to 400 out of the box so well not necessarily out of the box because i had to fix the compression um so you it, it was probably 360 with a two before i fixed the compression maybe 370 so not bad um but still if you can get you know 490 490 390 with the two and use this outdoors great um so if you have any questions comment below see you later definitely not a ptw